بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو دا پلیٹ فارم آف نور اسکول اینڈ کالج مانسیرا آئی وڈ لائک ٹو ویلکم یو آل ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آف گریڈ ون ٹو دا آن لائن کلاس آف فزکس ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ آور چیپٹر نمبر سکس دا نیم آف دس چیپٹر از فلوئڈ ڈائنامکس As you can see that uh, we already have covered uh, five chapters today we are going to discuss the chapter number six the name of this chapter is fluid dynamics on a very quick note uh, let us first consider what is matter as we know that uh, matter is a, a substance that uh, uh, contains some uh, that has some shape weight density and it occupies some space that is called matter we know that there are <coughs> four uh, states of uh, matter uh, these are solids liquids gases and plasma dear students we know that uh, solids are compact objects they are hard they have definite shapes in solids the atoms are uh, arranged uh, very tightly they are packed together after that we know that what is liquid and then we know what is uh, gas in gas the atoms are very far from each other they are uh, there are very very extremely weak atomic and molecular forces in between the atoms of gases similarly what is plasma we know that <coughs> plasma is the hot ionized gas when we increase the temperature of any gas if that temperature is sufficient to break the bonding between atoms and uh, the constituents of atoms uh, nucleus uh, i mean proton and uh, neutron this is uh, called plasma and uh, further plasma has three types one is cold plasma the other one is thermal plasma and the third one is hot plasma the example of cold plasma is tube light we know that tube light contains an ionized gas the example of thermal plasma is the fire that we ignite in our home hot plasma the example of hot plasma is the sun that sun radiates its energy heat energy and uh, it uh, emits the light uh, the sun has hot gases hydrogen gas which is converting into uh, helium uh, and this uh, process uh, is a nuclear fusion we know about that and uh, the sun uh, contains hot gas that is called hot plasma cold plasma thermal plasma and hot plasma however plasma is hot ionized gas and we know of gases that a gas is the state of matter in which there is no particular shape as a whole and uh, atoms are very far fr from each other the examples of uh, gases are oxygen nitrogen chlorine carbon dioxide and all the other gases and uh, our atmosphere atmosphere around the earth is a gas similarly the examples of solids are stone wood paper this pen and all the hard uh, objects they are called solids in solids the atoms are packed very close to each other now we come to our <coughs> important uh, point liquid what is a liquid liquid is also called fluid fluid is a substance that can flow like water substance that can flow there is a weak atomic bond in between the atoms of a fluid fluid can take any shape Uh, whenever we pour a liquid into a pot what is the shape of pot that will be the shape of fluid and another property of fluid is that it is in incompressible you cannot compress a fluid like a gas we can compress a gas but we cannot compress a liquid the examples of liquids are water pani 
milk dood oil um, cooking oil something like this and uh, tea chai syrup and uh, cold drinks that we use all these are the examples of liquids <coughs> dear students there are some properties of the uh, fluids the very first and important property is the viscosity what do we call the viscosity in urdu it is said that viscosity means gaadapan how thick is a fluid the thickness of the fluid is called viscosity and uh, in the in terms of physics uh, we define viscosity as the resistance to the motion of an object through liquids लिक्विड में से जब किसी ऑब्जेक्ट को मूव करवाया जाता है तो वो लिक्विड कितनी रेजिस्टेंस या अपोजिशन ऑफर करता है दैट इज कॉल्ड विस्कोसिटी वी नो दैट इफ अ लिक्विड इज मोर विस्कस इट ऑफर्स मच रेजिस्टेंस फॉर एग्जांपल इट इज इजी टू पुश आवर हैंड थ्रू अ वाटर बट इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू पुश आवर हैंड थ्रू हनी हनी में से अपने हाथ को पास करना मुश्किल होता है जबकि पानी में से पास करना इजी होता है दिस इज कॉल्ड विस्कोसिटी इन उर्दू इट इज कॉल्ड गाढ़ापन सो वी डिफाइन विस्कोसिटी एज द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफर्ड टू द मोशन ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट थ्रू लिक्विड एंड सेकेंडली द सिंबल ऑफ विस्कोसिटी इज दिस वन दिस इज कॉल्ड ईटा इन ग्रीक लैंग्वेज दिस लेटर इज नेम्ड एज ईटा ई टी ए ईटा द सिंबल ऑफ दिस विस्कोसिटी इज कॉल्ड ईटा एंड नाउ वट इज द यूनिट ऑफ विस्कोसिटी वी मेयर विस्कोसिटी ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट्स सॉरी विस्कोसिटी ऑफ द लिक्विड्स इन पासकल सेकेंड पी ए एस और न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वेयर सेकेंड what does it mean there are <clears throat> three important factors that viscosity contains force now you can see that it's a force it depends on uh, the force the area meter square it is area and how long we are moving something through a liquid second newton per meter square into second <clears throat> dear student this was the uh, viscosity of a liquid now we are moving ahead for the main topic fluid dynamics now uh, as you can see that we discussed what is fluid and we uh, know that what uh, do we mean by dynamics and dear students you can uh, see that fluid is anything that can flow like water milk oil glycerin etc what is dynamics dynamics is actually the study of motion whenever we consider the study of motion of something it is called dynamics so fluid dynamics is the study of liquids because we are talking about fluids fluid dynamics is the study of liquids in dynamics state dynamic state means in the state of motion this is the branch of physics fluid dynamics is the branch of physics which deals with the study of liquids in motion this is the extremely simple definition of fluid dynamics let me uh, rephrase it fluid dynamics is the branch of physics which deals with the study of liquids provided that if the liquids are moving the study of liquids in motion is called fluid dynamics now two important points you can see here fluids exert pressure and force whenever we pour a fluid on a surface they strike with the uh, wall of that uh, container and they exert force and some pressure you can experience this effect uh, while opening the water tap in your house now consider it's a water tap the water is falling from the water tap you hold your hand 
underneath this water you will feel that the the water is exerting a pressure on your hand that is why when uh, fluids uh, are uh, passing and if you keep your hand uh, in front of the fluid you will experience a force and a pressure it means that fluid uh, fluids exert pressure and force similarly <coughs> fluids contains uh, layers fluids contain layers this will be understood uh, in the um, coming uh, topic like the types of fluid flow what do you mean by layer layer is the two dimensional surface you consider like this they are two layers when we rub them together these are uh, kind of like uh, one layer is slipping above the other so whenever the fluids are moving in one direction there are some two dimensional uh, two dimensional layers that are um, sliding over each other that is why it is called that fluids contain layers now <clears throat> how many types of uh, fluid flow are there basically there are two types of fluid flow whenever a fluid or a liquid flows there are two types one is turbulent and other one is streamline what do you mean by turbulent turbulent means irregular and streamline means regular let me tell you in turbulent flow these are the molecules or atoms of a fluid overall the fluid is passing this way in this direction but you can see that each and individual atom they are not following the same path they are moving in this direction this direction up down right left overall the direction of the flow of this fluid is to the right but the individual direction of each and every uh, each and every atom and molecule it is not in the same direction this is called a turbulent irregular direction the next one is streamline streamline is the uh, type of uh, fluid flow in which almost all the molecules they follow the same path they move parallel to each other every atom and every molecule is following the same direction you can see that overall uh, the flow direction of this fluid is to the right and each and every molecule or atom is uh, also uh, following the same direction this is called streamline the regular flow the next was turbulent and it was irregular flow now <clears throat> one important thing heavy cold gases also behave like fluids this is very important that uh, we consider in fluid flow only the study of liquids but few gases are there when they are extremely cold and they are very heavy they exhibit uh, some properties like fluids so heavy gases the examples of heavy gases is carbon dioxide ethane methane and other um, other heavy gases all these are the heavy gases when we drop their temperature they become very cold and in that phase or in that state of matter they behave like fluids and they flow like fluid the common example is nitrogen gas when the nitrogen is <coughs> cooled at approximately minus 170 degrees it becomes liquid and we know that it is called liquid nitrogen it, it behaves like a fluid now <clears throat> coming to the next important topic stokes law and dear students you can see that the uh, real name of stoke was george gabriel stokes he was a scientist who gave this formula as far as the definition of stokes law is concerned we can say that stokes law describes a relation between four quantities resistive force of the fluid which is f viscosity of the fluid which is eta we have gone through this topic 
radius of spherical object for example when an object is dipped and it is let uh, go down then this object is spherical it contains uh, it has uh, some radius and the speed of spherical ob object the speed with which that object is moving so uh, stokes law is the relation between four quantities the resistive force offered by the fluid and viscosity of the fluid and the radius of spherical object and the speed of spherical object okay now we can uh, have a relation between all these uh, quantities force is directly proportional to the viscosity the more viscous the uh, um, liquid is it uh, it will offer more force are you getting my point force uh, this is the resistive force that we were discussing uh, the resistive force in terms of viscosity this is the resistive force offered by an object uh, in liquid to the object and this force is directly proportional to the viscosity this force is directly proportional to the radius of the object this force is directly proportional to the speed of the object the faster we throw an object through a liquid more uh, up thrust force is experiencing on that object if the radius of the object is large then its surface area will be greater and if area will be greater then the buoyancy force will also be greater so we can now combine these three relations f is directly proportional to eta r v because all these three factors are in directly relation that is why removing the sign of proportionality with a constant and a sign of equality f is equal to constant eta r v the constant here is 6 pi so we can write f is equal to 6 pi eta r v this is the mathematical form of stokes law dear students now consider that you have a pot and it's a liquid filled in that pot i have a spherical object kind of like a solid ball if i dip the ball the weight of the ball is downward mg is the weight this weight of the ball will take the ball downward and as you can see that these are the molecules of the liquid when the ball ball goes down these molecules are striking with the surface and they are producing an up thrust force this up thrust force is here this is resistive force getting my point so this force f is equal to 6 pi eta r and v now <clears throat> dear students uh, this was all about the stokes law now we discuss the limitation of the stokes law stokes law is valid for solid spherical object stokes law gives us the correct relation only for spherical object you can see that it's a spherical for example if some object is like this or some object is like this or like this or like this when we dip them into the liquid stokes law will not give us the correct answer because stokes law is only valid for spherical object and uh, this is valid for homogeneous liquid what do you mean by homogeneous liquid homogeneous means same kind for example consider this liquid if it is water then each and every molecule is of water but when I add something else for example salt plus sugar or something else then this is this will not appear water this will be a mixture that when we are talking about mixture that is not homogeneous homogeneous means same kind that the fluid should be same kind there should not be any uh, contamination or any uh, impurity in that uh, fluid dear students i would like to uh, wish you all the best this was the very first lecture of uh, chapter number six so please make your notes and uh, uh, consider this topic this is a very important topic and uh, do research on this so please uh, i would like to uh, wish you all the best thank you very much